you've definitely heard of ChatGPT. It's an AI that can do literally anything, decompile machine code, create entire programs in C++, build complete websites from nothing. But I think it's time we put this AI to the real test. One of the hardest challenges programmers have faced since the dawn of mankind. Scratch. So today, I'm challenging my friend Nathan online to a one hour scratch competition, but we can only use AI. You see, ChatGPT can generate scratch instructions for anything you want to code. Write scratch code that makes an object say subscribe to Polymars. Just copy this into scratch and now, when you run this project, it says subscribe to Polymars. I'm not even telling you guys to do that. It's not even me, it's an AI. And for the art, Stable Diffusion can create images from just about any prompt. So for example, a loser crying because he cannot program. And boom, look, it's Nathan online. It just did a perfect picture of Nathan online. So yeah, anyway, let's give him a call and get started. So Nathan, mm -hmm. you, don't know how to code, really, right? Let, let's just put it bluntly, you, you just can't code. I suck at coding. This will be good for you because all of your code will be generated with an AI and the art too. I take so long with art, so I don't know. I think this will be a fun challenge. I mean, not really, but let's do it. I mean, <laughs> I guess if I were you, I wouldn't be excited to lose anyways. It is time to pick our theme. Oh, it started? Oh, okay. No, no, no. Okay. It's time to pick our theme. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is tell ChatGPT to generate a one word theme for a game making competition. The theme is frenzy. What? All right, <laughs> three, two, one, go. Okay, All right. good luck, good luck. Bye, Nathan. Good luck to you, bye bye. as always. Just kidding, I hope he loses, he's a fool. Bad luck to him, bad luck to him. And I know he's gonna say the same to me. So we have one hour, we have to make a game around the theme frenzy that can be created in one hour. So normally what you'd have to do is brainstorm, you know, use your brain. But today we're using AI to do everything for us. Give a game that could be made with this theme in one hour. Here's one idea for a game that could be made with the theme frenzy in one hour. Boom, what do I tell you, dude? So what we should do is make a game, kind of like Subway Surfers is what it's telling us, that increasingly gets faster and faster. When I think of frenzy, I think of like a feeding frenzy, like piranhas, right? Piranhas like coming towards your screen and trying to eat you. Now let's get it to write some code for our player. This is our scratch cat and he will be the player in our Subway Surfers game. Write scratch code that allows a player to move between three lanes similar to subway surfers i'm a bit scared that this is gonna suck oh wait this this is perfect it creates three variables one for each lane and then it lets you move between lanes that's not bad that's not bad thing that is annoying about this is i can't actually copy and paste because scratch doesn't actually use text so i have to recreate this code with scratch blocks okay on, on the access when left and right keys are pressed okay Ooh. <gasps> Yes, yes. Thank you for the code. Thank you. Okay. Oh, this looks terrible. <laughs> this looks really bad. So now the sprite should move between three different lanes, kind of like subway surfers, like I said. But the question is, will it actually work? Please, please work. Actually, wait, wait. Yes, it works. Okay, this works perfectly. Now we have some player movement for our frenzy game. And now I think it is time for some art for the player. So let's hop into Stable Diffusion. I'm gonna try and generate a character similar to the Subway Surfers main character. This is Jake from Subway Surfers and we need to generate a better version of Jake using AI. A teenage boy wearing a denim jacket over a white hoodie over a red t-shirt. He has very cool shoes. <laughs> what is this? This is the original Jake, and this is the AI generated Jake, which honestly, in my opinion, looks a lot cooler. I think the AI did a pretty good job here. Let's just go ahead and key out the background and put it into scratch. Set Y to Y position plus falling speed, right? How do I, I know, how do I change falling speed though? Oh, it's working. Ooh! 
Yes! Yes! Let's oh, let's go. Okay, it works now. That's nice. Yes! We have our player. Beautiful player, Sprite. Maybe he should be a bit smaller, but... I mean, he looks kind of like me, actually, and I'm, like, probably one of the coolest people to ever exist, so... I mean, I, I don't mean that as, like, a flex, but I'm just, you know, naturally very cool, and I just naturally have, like, a lot of muscle and stuff, so, like, that's probably what the AI based it on. So now we have our player that can move between lanes, but we need some enemies. Make enemies that spawn in any lane and move downwards, increasing in speed gradually over time i don't know if this is gonna work but in theory this should spawn enemies every second that move downwards let's see if the enemies work oh it actually works pretty well <laughs> it's kind of dumb but it works it works this is so freaking stressful bro this looks like junk this looks like actual junk Whatever, I don't have time for this. This is this is working though. That's the good part. Oh my god, if this didn't work, I'd be dying. Oh, he's no way. He did the same thing as me. He did the same thing as me. He did the same thing as me. It's actually still like difficult. Though. He literally did the same thing. We're going to get stable diffusion to recreate the Subway Surfer's police officer. Police officer with heavily attractive mustache. I mean, I mean, okay, wait, I mean, shoot, I didn't, I didn't mean to, I, I didn't mean to, I, I just meant like with, with a, a must, sorry. I don't think, I don't think his mustache is a try. I, I don't, okay, anyway, he has a mustache and a green uniform. Let's see what Stable Diffusion comes up with. <laughs> These are a little, a little sus. Um, I don't know, I don't know if this looks too much like a, um, a former world leader who was probably not great. This guy is perfect. Look, he says police and everything. It looks just like, okay, they like kind of look like the exact same person, honestly. Beautiful. Okay, this, this is beautiful, guys. Oh God, wait, this is actually more difficult. This is actually just like Subway Surfers, honestly. Streets with trains background. You know, it's okay. It's gonna, it's gonna be like the Subway Surfers background, please. Okay, sure, sure. Okay, save image, save image, save image. Where is this? It's so loud. Okay, I guess we do not have a background. The white honestly contrasts really well against this really cool looking player. And then like the beautiful green police officers. Yeah, I don't think we need a background in the first place. This this is perfect how it is. But yeah, the challenge is complete. Let's see how Nathan did. Hello, Polymars. Hello, Nathan online. How did it go for you? Oh, it's um it's going it's going, going. okay going yeah. what, what what do you mean going nothing uh literally nothing at all just just mm. wait a tiny little second guys what do i do here how do i just part you you know this is a serious competition right i'm asking my chat how i to uh it is time to check out feeding frenzy premium by nathan mm, online mm, mm, mm. I'm excited for yes. this. It looks like a good game. Looks like a good game. Okay. <laughs> if any of the fish like move, like back up automatically randomly, that means you died. Oh. Yeah. This feels kind of like my game. Yeah, it's just better. Uh, mine has a very strong theme to it. It's got dying mechanics down pat. And... I'm, I'm doing pretty, pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Actually, there's no high score, mm -hmm. so I wouldn't really be there, able to yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. Check, check the uh, magnificent dying system I made. It's pretty effic effective. All right. Just get hit by one yeah. of the piranhas get eaten oh it like i see Just... it's a it's not a bug so it's a straight up feature you basically so... can't die your game is basically not a video game is what you're telling me mm, no, no no it just has it's a very unique like not this, only it's, it's did you make else. a bad game but you didn't even make a game that is crazy i did make a game no no, no this is, is a top watch when i win because my game is top tier subway surfers Frenzy Deluxe mm -hmm. by Polly Mars. And I will explain yeah. the rules. Basically, you move between lanes with left and right arrow keys, similar to Subway mm -hmm. Surfers. And also similar uh, to Subway Surfers, you have to dodge police officers. So you basically knocked off my game, is what you're saying. You basically knocked off my game, is what I'm is what I'm getting at. No, 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 no because I came up with this idea immediately. Right. We'll let the judge decide. We'll let the judge decide. So yeah, those so, are the those are the police I'm officers. Playing as Polly Mars dodging police. Yeah, and huh. see, it gets faster over time, and that's why it's called Frenzy. Oh. It's time to decide the winner of this painful competition. 
I'm not even gonna look, guys. I'm not even worried. I, I know I won. Like, there's no point even looking at the results. I don't even need to say anything. I know I won. I don't need to say anything at all. Come on. Come on. Frenzy won! Let's go! Let's see how much I won by chat. The poll has finally ended. It's time to see how much I won by. Let's go! Let's! Frenzy going to go!